Hi friends, welcome back on our YouTube channel. Today, in classical mechanics, we will discuss about closure and stability of circular orbits. So, here we will discuss about closure and stability of circular orbits. So, stability of circular orbits. An orbit is a scheduled path of any object moving under a central force. Now, what is central force and what are the characteristics of central force? This whole thing we have discussed in our earlier lecture and the link of that lecture is given in description box. So you can see that lecture. An orbit is called stable. If a slight perturbation is given to the initial position, the orbit is perturbed only slightly. The perturbation is given to the radial coordinate keeping either the energy or the angular momentum unchanged or remain constant. Now, closure and stability of circular orbits. Let a planet revolve around the sun under the influence of the central force in a circular or elliptical orbit. We already know that the planet revolve around the sun in elliptical orbit because only circular and elliptical orbits are closed orbit, other orbits are unclosed. Let the average distance of planet from the sun be R0. If L, angular momentum, M, mass of planet and R be the radius of orbit then the centrifugal potential energy for the radial motion will be V centrifugal is equal to L square upon twice M R square. So this is the centrifugal potential energy for the radial motion. If actual potential energy is V actual equal to V R then the effective potential energy for radial motion will be V effective equal to V actual plus V centrifugal. Since V centrifugal is equal to L square upon twice MR square and V actual is equal to VR. So V effective is equal to VR plus L square upon twice MR square. Since the relation between force and potential energy is minus du by dr and here potential energy is v. So if v centrifugal is the centrifugal potential energy then centrifugal force is equal to minus d by dr of v centrifugal and v centrifugal is equal to l square upon twice mr square. So f centrifugal equal to minus d by dr of l square upon twice mr square. Now L square upon twice M is constant and negative is here. So minus L square upon twice M and the differential of 1 upon R square with respect to R is minus 2 upon R cube. So minus 2 upon R cube. Now negative and negative will be cancelled out. 2 and 2 will be cancelled out. So this will be L square upon M R cube. So F centrifugal equal to L square upon M R cube. Also actual force that is F actual is equal to F R equal to minus D V R upon D R. So actual force or F of R equal to minus D V R upon D R. So effective force is F effective equal to F actual plus F centrifugal. F centrifugal is L square upon M R cube. So F effective equal to F of R plus L square upon M R cube. So we replace this F centrifugal with L square upon M R cube. So effective force is F of R plus L square upon M R cube. Since F effective equal to minus del V effective upon del R. So we replace this F effective with minus del V effective upon del R. So minus del V effective upon del R equal to 
एफ आर प्लस एल स्क्वायर अपॉन एम आर क्यूब और डेल वी इफेक्टिव अपॉन डेल आर इक्वल टू माइनस एफ ऑफ आर माइनस एल स्क्वायर अपॉन एम आर क्यूब फॉर द प्लेनेट टू बी इन स्टेबल ऑर्बिट एवी इफेक्टिव शुड बी मिनिमम बिकॉज ओनली दैट ऑर्बिट विल बी स्टेबल हुज पोटेंशियल एनर्जी विल बी मिनिमम सो फॉर द प्लेनेट टू बी इन स्टेबल ऑर्बिट द इफेक्टिव पोटेंशियल एनर्जी शुड बी मिनिमम एंड फॉर मिनिमम और मैक्सिमम फर्स्ट डिफरेंशियल विल बी जीरो सो डेल बी इफेक्टिव अपॉन डेल आर एट आर इक्वल टू आर नॉट इज जीरो एंड एफ इज इक्वल टू माइनस डेल वी अपॉन डेल आर सो इफ डेल वी इफेक्टिव अपॉन डेल आर इज जीरो सो एफ इफेक्टिव एट आर इक्वल टू आर नॉट विल बी जीरो and f effective equal to f of r plus l square upon m r cube so this will be zero at r equal to r not for the planet to be in a stable orbit so f of r not plus l square upon m r not cube equal to zero and from here f r not equal to minus l square upon m r not cube here f r not represents the central force and here the central force is gravitational force so this central force lying between the planet and the sun so here f r not represents the central force between the planet and the sun now f r not equal to minus l square upon m r not cube here negative sign means this negative sign so here negative sign shows that the central or gravitational force should be attractive so negative sign shows that the force should be attractive this force is numerically equal to the centrifugal or centripetal force now angular momentum is equal to m v r not so L square upon m r not cube equal to m square v square r not square upon m r not cube. So we replace this L with m v r not. So L square upon m r not cube is this one. Now r not square will be cancelled with this one, and m is cancelled with this one. So here we have only m v square upon r not. So L square upon m r not cube equal to m v square upon r not. now total energy is potential energy plus kinetic energy so total energy at r not is potential energy at r not plus half mv square half mv square is kinetic energy since from here mv square is l square upon m r not square because this r not and this cube will be cancelled so here we have m r not square So m v square is l square upon m r not square. Now we replace this m v square with this one. So e r not equal to v r not plus half l square upon m r not square. For stable orbit, we check that v effective represents the minimum value because we told you that for the planet to be in stable orbit. the effective potential energy should be minimum now we check that the effective potential energy is minimum here so if v effective is minimum then del upon del r of del v effective upon del r at r equal to r not is greater than 0 because by using first differential equal to 0 we find the condition at which the value is either maximum or minimum and second differential Shows that the value is either maximum or minimum. If second differential is greater than zero, then the value will be minimum. And if second differential is less than zero or negative, then the value will be maximum. So for v effective is minimum, second differential is positive. Now del v effective upon del r is minus f of r minus l square upon m r cube. Now we differential it again with respect to r. So del two v effective upon del r two 
at r equal to r naught equal to minus del f upon del r at r equal to r naught plus 3 l square upon m r raised to 4 at r equal to r naught is greater than 0 because if we differentiate it with respect to r then minus l square upon m is constant and differential of 1 upon r cube is minus 3 upon r raised to 4 now this negative and negative will be cancelled out so the differential of this one will be 3 l square upon m r raised to 4 now we multiply this value with negative sign so del f upon del r at r equal to r naught minus 3 l square upon m r raised to 4 at r equal to r naught is less than 0 or del f upon del r at r equal to r naught is less than 3 l square upon m r raised to 4 at r equal to r naught so we just transfer this value from here to here and we get this value since f of r naught equal to minus l square upon m r naught cube and here we have 3 l square upon m r raised to 4 so this value will be minus 3 f upon r so del f upon del r at r equal to r naught is less than minus 3 f upon r at r equal to r naught now this will be equal to 1 upon f df at r equal to r naught is less than minus 3 by r dr at r equal to r naught so we transfer this f from here to here and this dr or del r from here to here so 1 upon f df is less than minus 3 by r dr now on integrating we get so if we integrate this value so integration of 1 upon f is log f and integration of 1 by r is log r so log f at r equal to r naught is less than minus 3 log r at r equal to r naught now this multiplication will go in power so log f is less than log r raised to minus 3 or log 1 upon r naught cube because r equal to r naught here so log f is less than log 1 upon r naught cube now to eliminate natural log on either side we take exponential so exponential of log will be cancelled out so f is less than 1 upon r naught cube if the central force between the planet and the sun is f of r is directly proportional to 1 upon r raised to n plus 1 then f of r equal to minus k upon r raised to n plus 1 this negative sign is due to attractive force and this k is our proportionality constant so f of r equal to minus k upon r raised to n plus 1 from the condition of stability del f upon del r at r equal to r naught is less than minus 3 f upon r at r equal to r naught and here f of r equal to minus k upon r raised to n plus 1 so we replace this f and this f with minus k upon r raised to n plus 1 so del upon del r of minus k upon r raised to n plus 1 at r equal to r naught is less than minus 3 by r minus k upon r raised to n plus 1 at r equal to r naught now this negative and this negative will be cancelled out and r into r raised to n plus 1 will be r raised to n plus 2 so 3k upon r raised to n plus 2 and differential of 1 upon r raised to n plus 1 is minus n plus 1 upon r raised to n plus 2 and this negative and this negative will be cancelled out so n plus 1 k upon r raised to n plus 2 at r equal to r naught is less than 3k upon r raised to n plus 2 at r equal to r naught now r raised to n plus 2 and r raised to n plus 2 will be cancelled out and k and k will be cancelled out so n plus 1 is less than 3 it means n is less than 2 so in this case n equal to 1 because n is integral number and n is less than 2 so n is equal to 1 so in this case n equal to 1 now f of r is inversely proportional to r is to n plus 2 
and n is replaced with 1. So, f of r is inversely proportional to r square. Thus, the central force varies as 1 upon r square and it is attractive. Also, this force will be equal to the centrifugal or centripetal force. So, here we end our session. In today's session, we have discussed about closure and stability of circular orbit. So, goodbye.